Hey guys, it's Erin Van Handel from Zmont Sewing Blog, and I have something very exciting to show you today. I have been working very hard on my first pattern. Yay! It's a personal pattern just for myself. I have no plans to release it at this point. Um, it's a pair of pajamas, and I made it using Adobe Illustrator and the Winifred Aldrich metric pattern cutting book and the knowledge I got out of the pattern workshop online course. So if you would like to check out what I have been uh, up to in terms of pattern design, stick around. So this is the simple trouser block, the easy fitting bodice block, and the one piece sleeve block. I made the blocks using my personal measurements and instruction from the Winifred Aldrich book. And my plan is to make a pair of flannel pajamas out of these bed sheets from Target. Let's talk about fit. For the most part, these blocks fit pretty well because they are based on my personal measurements. The major fit issue I can see is along the bottom of the bodice here. It's a little too narrow for my hips. You can see how the front there kind of splits apart. Speaking of things being too tight, let's talk about ease. Wearing a woven garment that's too tight is really uncomfortable. And I want these pajamas to be relaxed and no one wants to be in pajamas, woven pajamas that are too tight. That sounds like minor torture. So what I'm planning on doing along with adding you know, width to the hip area is I wanna add some width across the front chest, like um, the front bodice here, the upper part of the shoulders, and then also uh, across the back shoulders, just so there's a little more, you know, um, ease of movement in this as I am, you know, sleeping, tossing, turning, etc. cetera. Um, considering that this bodice is the easy fitting bodice, I was kind of surprised that it fit as snugly as it did, obviously it could it could be tighter from this point, which kind of is the point of a block. So this is the easy fitting block. You wouldn't want to have a block that was too loosey goosey to begin with. From this point, you would add ease. So at first I thought, hmm, this is kind of tight for the easy fitting easy fitting bodice. But the more I thought about it, I was like, well, okay, that makes sense. The neckline is not going to stay like this. Um, for the record, this neck line here looks extra chunky because there's actually, I put the seam allowance on it. So imagine this less 5 eighths and you'd be like, oh, okay, that seems reasonable. But I'm not going to keep this uh, neckline. I'm going to do a V neckline a la the Darling Ranges dress, which I really like that neckline for woven, not too high, not too low. I think it would be very comfortable to sleep in. If you get a little hot, your chest is a little bit of exposure here in your collarbones. Um, and the drop for that is about six inches. To finish off the neckline and the front button opening here, I have to draft uh, facings for the back neck and for the, you know, the front of the V and along the, and along the the opening. As long as we're talking about the neckline, I plan on moving these darts, which I actually think fit around my bust very well. I think they add the right, the right shaping, the correct shaping. I'm going to move these around to be um, side bust darts because I think that these would look really strange with a V neckline. I'm going to have some fun with the sleeves on these pajamas. I am going to add a flounce. The cuff 
is going to be a flounce. Um, and it, when it's finished, it's going to be a six inch long flounce. That's about, I've got it marked on the sleeve here because I had to measure it to make note of it. It's about like yay, so a very nice flouncy cuff. Um, I think will be really cute with that goofy ostrich print. On the design side, like the drafting side of the sleeves, I have to go back into my pattern pieces and add balance points like on my like on my sleeve head, like where my sleeve comes into my bodice. And basically you can think of balance points as um, notches. So I'll need to add the, <clears throat> excuse me, these match points for my sleeve and on my front and back bodice. I didn't do that first time around, which made setting in these sleeves very difficult. Um, and because of that, my insertion here isn't particularly good. Um, I can do better than this, I promise. And also when I was sewing, um, working on this sleeve, I realized that I was going to have to put it in inside out. So this is my seam allowance. This is, um, but the, this sleeve insertion actually is pretty darn good. This one, crap. But um, that's kind of one of the hazards of working with muslin like this. There's no wrong side or right side. Um, both, both good and bad. A little difficult when you're trying to figure out, you know, what's the right side, what's the wrong side. Um, nicer when you're cutting stuff out. A little harder when you're actually sewing it. I think the pants actually look really good for relaxed pajama pants. There's a lot of room in the crotch, a lot of room in the thighs. I added inseam pockets because you need a place to stash your phone and tissues and anything else that you know you might need on hand when you're chilling out on the couch. Um, when I drafted the front leg piece, I forgot to add this, the seam allowance. So um, that, like where the, the hem on the front actually ends is about where the final hem is going to be, if that makes sense. That's something else I'm going to need to fix when I go back in and work on version 2.0. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments about the pattern or about the fit that maybe I didn't uh, talk about, please leave me a comment and I will be sure to reply to you. I hope you thought this was fun and I can't wait to talk to you again. Take care, sewing friends.